what's going on good people? This is Coach Donald here with Miss Janelle Young. We just got done with a uh, nice good workout here on McKinley. How are you feeling? You whooped my ass, but I'm good. <laughs> Great. Great workout. We had a lot of fun throwing, uh, throwing medicine ball around, some kettlebell work. So I'm here in Bell Suver at um, Bell Suver's basketball court up here that Miss Young actually painted herself rather recently. So Janelle is a painter, she's a muralist, a creator, and she's also a community artist in residence. And so, Janelle, tell us a little bit about what you do as an artist and the work that is important to you. Well, like you said, I am a painter and a muralist primarily, so um, a lot of my work is large work, um, public art. Um, I have a lot of murals in Pittsburgh and in New York City where I used to live. Um, my job and my motto is to inspire through creativity and play. So I want to do stuff that's joyful, that's fun, that's representative of black and brown people, um, especially young black girls. Um, I love for people to be able to see themselves in my work, especially because we don't get to see ourselves at all. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, that is very important to me. And then doing community work, like involving residents um, in the areas where my work is going to be present is super important to me too. So, having youth come help me with projects, um, having people who live in the neighborhood help me, that's all a part of what I do. Very cool. And speaking of that, we were chatting about the court earlier. Yes. So you painted this court, and you, you mentioned you also had some of the youth actually come and help you do some of that. Tell us a little bit about the story of why you uh, painted this court and, and how you came up with this, because this is I've never seen a basketball court like this before. <laughs> um, well, there's a lot of different ways that that story can go, but um, I'm from Valtuber. I grew up up the street from here. I played on this court as a kid, um, and through my teenage years, I played basketball from the time that I could dribble a ball uh, all the way through high school. Um, and this was like our stomping grounds, me and my friends when we were younger. So this has a lot of nostalgia and meaning to me. Uh, this park was definitely a staple for a lot of kids in the neighborhood growing up, and the adults too. Like it just has gone through so many generations, and this is a place everybody can kind of come together and be themselves and be a community and network with each other. Um, I was working at uh, an agency as a digital strategist, like managing other creative people when I found out about the famous Nike Commission Court in Paris, the Palm Valley Basketball Court. And when I Googled it, if you haven't seen it, you should Google it. When I saw that court, I was like, man, that's something I need to be doing, something that meshes, you know, my love for sports with my love for art. Um, I have a background in sports marketing. I thought that I was going to go into the sports field on like a professional level in that sense from the business side. And so this, it was just a cool opportunity to make the two things kind of come together um, and make something that like my neighborhood was super proud of. That's cool. Yeah. That, that's really awesome. There'll also be a link below. She actually has shirts with this court on it. This is uh, the shirt, Bell Super Pride. This is actually what this full court looks like. So make sure you check out the link below grab you one of these there's hoodies too and there's hoodies yeah how long did it take to actually paint all this because this is a lot of court <laughs> it is um it actually only took 10 days uh, i had a team of three me and two other gentlemen uh, who were my assistants for the whole process of painting and then we also had probably total like 35 to 40 other people who stopped in um during those 10 days that helped paint the court. So we're talking about residents in the area, we're talking about people I grew up with, we're talking about um, kids who go to the Voices Against Violence camp that's directly across from the court. Um, we had all types of different people just coming in, offering their time to volunteer, helping paint, and then, yeah, it was all wrapped up in 10 days. But I also love to tell people that in order to get this project approved, because it's a city property, it actually took 11 months. Oh my, it took 11 months just to be allowed to paint this. Yes. Wow. It's quite the process. Talk about some red tape there. So much red tape. <laughs> so, uh, Janelle, you also have a lot of art and um, different things that you create as an artist. So from murals to paintings, to even a coloring book yes. that I got my niece, who, who knows how she scribbles and colors in there. <laughs> uh, her and my sister, actually, they had a little conversation about, you know, hair because uh, my niece is starting to understand that her hair and some of her teachers' hairs who are black, they don't have the same hair as some of their white teachers mm. and kind of understanding the care that goes in her own hair. And, you know, it was actually pretty cool. My sister thought it was pretty cool to like see their own hair like in the book. 
So tell us a little bit about the art that you have that people can get. For sure. So besides um, original canvases and some prints that I have uh, called the Black Girl Magic series, which is actually what the coloring book is based off of, those you can purchase on my website. But the coloring book is called Color Your Crown, and it's exactly that. It's what I call hair portraits. Um, it's just these faces that are from the nose up, and it focuses on the crown of your head, um, just showing different hairstyles. Uh, that it, It's a natural hair coloring book, so different hairstyles for naturals. Um, I say the book is for everyone. It's definitely for all ages, but I've had you know, women, men, girls, and boys want the book, mm -hmm. even though it's mostly based on women's hairstyles. Okay. Um, the purpose of that whole series going into the coloring book um, was always that I wanted people to feel like they could see themselves and also that, you know, black people are not a monolith. Like we, we don't all have the same experiences, the same hair journeys, the same whatever, but it was just something to be able to celebrate. Like we're really bomb and we can do this like a lot of different ways. Okay. Right? So, um, it was just a really fun project. The book is filled with like affirmations that go with each um, hair portrait. Oh yeah. So it's it's just uplifting and just like a good thing to put out in the world in a time where like we don't have a lot of things that are joyful. You know, I actually had a conversation with a kid I trained this morning, who uh, he got a compliment from her coach, and you know her mom was like, "Oh, hear about you know what happened to her with her coach," and she was like, "No, it's nothing. It's nothing." I'm like, "Look." There's like a whole lot of bad news you can get. Somebody can tell us some good news and something positive. I want to hear it all. Yes, exactly. Now, speaking of some good news, um, tell us a bit about how the audience here can support JY Originals, which is uh, her brand for her art. And so how can you know we support you in, in being able to you know, get some art, some platform, all that jazz? Sure. Um, so my Instagram is where I'm most active. So it's at JY period originals. Um, that's where you can find me. My website is also linked through there. Um, I have an art specific website where you can purchase things like merchandise, original art, prints. You can buy all of that stuff on my website. And that is bit.ly slash JY originals. That'll also be in the uh, description box below. Yes. Um, and then... Uh, um, I also have my personal website, which has more of an overview of like my entire background before I was a full-time artist. And then, um, it also links out to my art website and that's my name, Janelle-Young.com. So J-A-N-E-L-Young as an opposite of old.com. So if you want to read a cool story about someone who was doing big things in corporate America and went to be a full-time artist, you should check that out. All those links are below. Hey, if you know anybody, and if you know anybody who I should do a Training with Donald interview with, we can go run, we can bike, we can work out outside, we can work out in the gym. Um, tag them below, uh, you know, put them in contact. Let's get this going. Uh, thanks for interviewing. Make sure you check out the links below. Um, and, you know, take some time, come up to Bell Suver Court uh, on the south side, play a little bit of hoops, and, you know, enjoy the court. All right, thank you. Thanks. All right, good people. Y'all have a good one. Be back next time.